And we now turn to former President Trump after taking the stand at his fraud trial. Yeah, Trump is now attacking the judge and New York's attorney general while celebrating his latest poll numbers. Here's ABC's Allison Kosick. This morning, former President Donald Trump is off the witness stand and back on the attack. See what a scam this is. This is a case that should have never been brought. Trump's five hours of testimony yesterday were punctuated by insults and aggravation. Much of it directed at Judge Arthur N. Gorin. He always rules against me, Trump said. This is a very unfair trial. The judge threatened to throw Trump out of court, yelling to his attorney, can you control your client? This is not a political rally. I beseech you to control him. If you can't, I will. Judge Ngorin has already determined Trump defrauded banks by overvaluing his assets and inflating his net worth to get better rates on bank loans and insurance. On the stand, Trump conceded he knew what was in his financial statements but largely deflected blame to deputies and accountants, saying, I have people. I pay them a lot of money. I assume they keep good records. Trump also claimed that when factoring in the Trump brand, his net worth is more than what's on paper. Because it's a scam, and this is a case that should have never been brought, and it's a case that now should be dismissed. He rambled, he hur hurled insults, um, but we expected that. At the end of the day, um, the documentary ev evidence demonstrated that, in fact, he falsely inflated his assets to basically enrich himself and his family. And as for the fraud case against President Trump, there is no jury, so the judge will decide whether to ban Trump from doing business in New York and whether to fine him hundreds of millions of dollars. Trump's daughter Ivanka will be testifying tomorrow.